this evening. Thank you. Father, you love for the every message that you release to us today. Thank you. Thank you of the revelation of your word. The Bible says, What they are written, they are written for our learning. But we saw it clearly, and we saw the error of the some of the patriarchs of old, and we saw how your severe anger and judgment came upon them. Mm. That's teaching us a very great lesson that God is not a respecter of anyone. So, that you will help us to be sensitive to you and never to walk presumptuously, never to become overconfident, never to take you for granted, never to have familiarity with you. Thereby, we cannot take your word for joke or play. Spirit of the living God, help us to be watchful as leaders and pastors. Amen. And help us to areas where we have become careless and loose and flippant, areas, oh Lord, where we do not watch anymore. We pray, oh Lord, that you show mercy upon us in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, as we have come to pray, we ask, oh Lord, to mightily visit us and supernaturally touch our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. We, thank you. we have answered. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus name, hey. we have prayed. Amen. At this time, I want to begin to give thanks unto the Lord and worship His triumph name. Give thanks to the Lord. For all that is in our life. To the Lord. To worship Him for everything He has been doing. Oh, yes. Oh, His steadfast Lord. And your rest. Let's do it by God. Oh, yes. For his steadfast love. And your rest forever. Give thanks to the Lord, Jehovah. Give honor to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. Let's oh, yes. The Lord and your it forever for his steadfast love forever. Lord, I praise you. Righteous God, immortal God, everlasting Father God, I want to appreciate you tonight. Thank you, God of heaven, for this great privilege you have given unto me. Thank you so much for us, all that you have done in our lives. What our ears are hearing in this ministry, under this commission. Thank you, Father, once again for the revelation of your word. Thank Mighty. you, Father, because of how far you have helped us in this journey. Thank you for correcting us. Thank you for the chastisement. Thank you for the rebuke, oh God. Receive all the praises in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to thank the Lord for the level of support that has been exposed to us and the level of revelation that we are receiving many, many years ago. I was listening to Jesus many, many years ago. I cannot tell exactly the year now. Many, many years ago. And then we were in the districts. It was in the midst of uh, the days of cassette or so, or maybe download. But I think it should be cassette or so, or maybe download. And then the GS was speaking because I screamed in the church. Out, I literally screamed out whether I shouted because I could not hear what he was saying. And he was talking about how the name of Jesus was being so real in the church and was mentioning, comparing those days. 
and it was like at the point it was like is it that is only so so play that the name of the lord is i think he was giving some instances and situation some practical issue testimony and i literally i literally screamed because of the way the man of god was speaking and if you remember um uh, retreat 2001 at ayobo where the GA did not talk about miracle, did not preach about, did not preach on miracle, uh, where uh, the new beginning, oh Lord, begin again. You remember the first night where God's servant was crying and was weeping and then trying to like, what happened to John Wesley Church, Methodist Church, and he was, and he was saying a whole lot of things. And that night, you know, we were just coming from the house and entering the camp. Everywhere was cool and calm. Crying and crying and praying and crying. And if God's servant, as of 2001, could be weeping and crying, looking at the state of the church day, <laughs> what do you say about now? What do you say about many people today? And uh, the way we want to pray tonight is a very solemn prayer. So it's, it's not something that we require shouting, uh, that we require you all to even scream. As a matter of fact, let's look at the lesson today. That's what we are using to pray as leaders. And I'm taking my scripture for first Corinthians. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, I think it's uh, probably it's a network problem. Uh, while we are waiting for him to come up, uh, let's be in the mood of prayer once again. Tonight, we want to look into our lives again. We did that last week, we still want to examine ourselves. As we see the day of the Lord approaching, brothers and sisters, I want you to understand that just like the word of Jesus, he said, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall was called. The love of many shall was called. It's very clear in the scriptures, just like what our pastor was just saying now, Pastor Yomi was just saying now. If you compare when that time the man of God was, was crying at that time, 2001, crying because of the state of the church, because of the way secret sin 
gradually creeping into the house of God, into the life of the members, weakening all the fabrics of, our, of the consecration and dedication and everything. And the way, you know, uh, coldness and dryness is setting in. Do you know, if you subtract 2001 from 2024, that is about 23 years ago, you will understand what we are talking about now. Many people today, if you look at our the state of our churches now, I'm telling you, many are struggling, struggling with their spiritual life. In fact, many are in the state of spiritual, you know, very deep in backsliding. Uh, I think it's, it's back now. It's Pastor Yomi, you can take over, please. Okay, thank you, sir. <coughs> now, in that place, in that first chronicle I was reading, I don't know if you got what I was reading. So I read to verse 4. Now, as Satan stood up against Israel and provoked David to number Israel, David was a leader. And at this point, there was no divine instruction that they should count or number the children of Israel. But he did presumptuously, and uh, the motive behind the numbering this time was a perverted motive. And that was why it became a sin to David. And it wasn't a small thing. 70,000 people died as a result of this presumptuous sin, as a result of doing something with the wrong motive. And we want to go before God, brethren. Please, can you hear me, Pastor? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, I don't understand what's happening here. Okay, so we want to go before God tonight and cry unto him from the depth of our heart and our soul. Whatever tendency that is in all that God had seen and observed, that will not be to our own benefit and our profit that has the ability there are habits there are lifestyle there are gemino there are character there are comportment there are behavior that one can be to cultivate or imbibe and those things can become something highly calamitous to one's journey to heaven I want to ask the Lord tonight as leaders and as pastors that God will thoroughly and scrutinize our life and sanitize and check everywhere and make us to be fit. That whatever it is in our life that is not in complete, total, and entire conformity with His will and purpose, that it should take away out of our life. Shall we pray, Pastor? Righteous God, everlasting Father. Our God and our Father, we come to you, Lord. Blessed Father God, here am I in your presence, O God, and I come, O God. I open up my heart and my life and my heart, everything unto you, God. Lord God, please, Lord, every filthiness, anything that is in my heart, in my life, that is against you, against your will and against your word and against your plan and purpose for my life. Righteous God, everlasting Father God, please, gracious God, let the blood of your Son Jesus remove everything out of me, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I am asking my Father once again, O God, let the power that is in the blood of the Lamb begin to avail once again for my soul this night, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, all the corruption in the world, all the filthiness in the world that has come into our heart, into our thought, into our motive, into our lives, oh God, I beseech you this night. Oh God, I am asking my Father once again, oh God, let the blood of Jesus Christ begin to remove everything, oh God, 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Righteous God, help me, Lord. Almighty God, let the power that is in the blood of the Lamb begin to avail once again for my soul, God, in the name of Jesus. The time is very short, O oh God. Lord, the time is actually very, very short, O oh God. Almighty God, help me to be fully ready and prepared for the coming of the Lord. At every point in time, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, almighty God, I'm asking my Father God, every shackle of iniquity, every bandage of unrighteousness within and without, almighty God, I'm asking my Father God. Let's talk to God in prayer. Let's talk to God in prayer. Let's talk to God in prayer. In Jesus' might, we pray. In Jesus' might, we pray. Now, Amen. Pastor, the decision we take as parents that have a, a devastating effect upon our children. Take, for example, the decision that David took that day led to 70,000 people being killed. How many mm. of them would you think would go to heaven? Because they die under the judgment of God. So do you even think any of them will get to heaven? We are talking mm. about... 70,000, 70,000. How many have uh, a, a congregation? I mean, one time, even Bagada congregation in a in a single service, it's not 70,000, a single service. Mm. And if you understand, 70,000 people, and then for them to be wasted like that because of the action of one man, Lord took an action, and that, that led to the lifestyle of the daughter. We want to cry to God to deliver us from habits that can destroy our congregation and our children. Habits that they are capable to destroy my children or destroy the congregation I am leading. Oh God, deliver me from such habits. Oh God, deliver me from such habits. Oh God, to God in prayer. Come to you, Lord, this night. Any kind of habit, oh God, that I'm exhibiting or practicing, oh God, that can destroy my family, that can lead my family into hell, that can make my family to go down into, into a place of eternal perdition. Almighty God, I'm asking the Father God, I come to you tonight, oh God. Lord, deliver me by your mighty power from such death and beauty. Be, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, any kind of worldly practices, oh God. In the name of Jesus, God, let the Lord oh. oh God, to avail for my soul tonight. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father God in Jesus. We push our children into destruction. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father God. Let the power of in the blood of Jesus begin to help me, oh God. Almighty God, help me, Lord. Any kind of thing that is in your will, that is in my heart, in my habit, in my conduct, in my character, in my behavior. Lord, either in my talking, either in my speech, either in my character, either in my conduct, either in my disposition, or whatever it is, oh God. Lord, I am asking my Father God that the power in the blood of the Lamb begin to put all the things out of me, my Father, was again tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, gracious God, I come to you tonight. Just as I am with that one plea, my Father God, let the blood of your soul begin to perfect and begin to remove all these thoughts. Thank you, friend, today. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. We are going to pray. We are going to ask God. There's something that should be scary about God. In Numbers chapter 13 and 14, this third spy, three spies were sent to the land of promise, and then we saw what happened. Out of 10, out of 12, 10 confessed negatively. But there was something they said. And it was as a result of what they said that God now said in verse 
28, 29 in chapter 14, that their target is what will happen, see their end. And God said in verse 30, as you have spoken in my ears, will I do. Now, when they were to be counted from what we studied today, we saw that it was a new generation that were regarded, that were counted from 20 upward. The other, other generation, all of them, as they said, they all died in the wilderness. We are going to pray as ministers of God, our journey will not end in the wilderness. Our Amen. journey will end in the wilderness. We are not going to pilot Amen. people and by and by, at the end of the day, we are not able to get to where we are going. There are people who started so well. They started so well. They started so well. By and by, just almost getting to the pearly gate, the backslid. They never mm. knew that their deaths were very close. They never knew. The promised land was just mm. very close to them, but they never knew. And they took a particular action. To them, God had abandoned them. To God, to them, why has their prayer not been answered? And then as leaders and pastor, they took a drastic action and they died in the process. And now everlasting regret forever and ever. We are going to cry to God tonight. Our journey will not end in wilderness. We will not end our journey. Mm -hmm. All this prayer we pray. We pray in the night, we pray in the day, we pray as family. We pray on the platform. We come here like jobless people as if we don't have anything doing with our time. It will not end in the wilderness. Let God have peace upon our soul. The Lord will give us in goodness and keep us in righteousness. Keep us in purity of heart. Our hearts shall be holy. Our lives shall be holy. Our secrets shall be holy. I will not help my journey in the wilderness, oh God, almighty God, I'm asking my Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, I'm asking my Father God, help me by grace and by your mighty spirit and power that I will not end my journey in the wilderness of this life, oh God. The Bible says, but with many of them, God was not well pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Almighty God, please help me that I will not be overthrown in the wilderness of this life. Righteous God, I'm asking my Father God. Gracious Redeemer God, I'm asking my Father God. Please help me that I will not end my journey in this wilderness, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, almighty God, the journey is still very great, oh Lord, help me. Almighty God, the journey is still very far. Oh, righteous God, help me. I need you, oh God, hold my hand, oh God. Almighty God, hold my hand, hold me by your power, oh God. To the very name of God, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Almighty let God, let the power of your spirit begin to walk upon my soul. Perfect. Amen. Amen. We're, Amen. Going to, we're going to pray. The servant of that man who came to Jesus, whose uh, child was having epileptic problem, that man knew that he had a problem with doubt. You know what that man said? And he cried to Jesus to help his own belief. Many are having problem with unbelief. They don't know it. Ministers of God and servants of God. Hmm. In a way, we might not be committing immorality, we might be living, but many don't even know that unbelief is a grievous sin before God. The Bible tells us they couldn't hmm. enter in because of unbelief. They couldn't. <laughs> you cannot hmm. live a holy life without believing. What you don't believe, you cannot become. Hmm. What you 
don't believe, you can't become. If you don't believe, you can be holy. You can never be holy. Never. No matter how you pray. No matter who lay hands on you. If you don't have a belief in, inside your heart that you can live a pure, clean, holy, and sanctified, distinct life, you can never be holy. And so you can see how many are defeated because of this issue of unbelief? How many pastors they are they pray for a situation? And then inside of them, another mind is saying, I beg you, can this thing work? We want to pray that the God of heaven will work upon our hearts. Every traces mm. of doubt and unbelief for any situation in our life or for people we have prayed for, may God yank it off of our life. We are ministers of God. We should be carrier of the presence. We should be carrier of the beauty of the Your word says, but with many of them, God was not well pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness because of unbelief. He said, many of them could not enter because of unbelief. Oh Lord, everlasting Father God, Lord, I present my heart, I present my life once again unto you, God. Any trace of any traces of unbelief and doubt, oh God, my Father God, unbelief that produces complaint, unbelief leads to complaint and murmuring. Unbelief brings a lot of things, oh God. Mighty God, I'm asking my Father God. Lord, every trace of unbelief, O oh God, my Father, by your spirit and power, remove them out of my heart, out of my life, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, God, I'm asking, O oh Lord, come to you, my God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Lastly, we are going to pray on this aspect. As I read the account of Joshua, I discovered how it was mightily help of God, supernaturally help of God. But in the case of the Gibeonite, Joshua never sought the face of God. What an error in his meaning. What a stigma in the ministry. And the, the people came and they said they were far away, not knowing they were just neighbor. And then because they were afraid of the children of Israel, they lied. And presumptuously, without consulting God, without finding out or checking up, and then they accepted and went into covenant with these people. Eventually, after three days, they saw that they were neighbors. Ministers of God, servants of God, we must not take them presumptuously. We want to pray right now. Number one, God will open our antenna to be sharp. Our spiritual eyes shall be opened. Our spiritual ears shall be opened. Amen. Our spiritual mind will be opened. Let me challenge us a little as I want to close. Let me challenge us. I, the person, one of my friends, a believer, because I, I'm saying this because I want us to understand that the voice of God was more than any counselor or anything whatsoever in this life. The voice of God, hearing from God, perceiving from God, that you can hear the mind of God, you can know the mind of God for your life or for a situation. What a beautiful life that can be. Just in 2022 year, God told a friend, my own friend, Gongo, Gongo, and he was a teacher, and God said, go into real estate. Not that it was a vision, he heard God clearly, clearly, clearly. This same brother was traveling. He was to travel one day, and God said, we will meet Robert in front, in, on the road. So eventually, he had to just make the journey, and he met Robert. But his life was fair. His life was fair. 
So hearing from God, as God told him, go into real estate, 2022. I didn't say 2002. 2022, he was doing his master in Unilab. We were together in Unibin. And uh, before I knew it, or before we knew it, God began to open way in a supernatural, a super life border. Supernaturally. And some of the people that even bought land from him, the land is not his land. He's, he's not the owner of the land, P1. He just joined the P1 and they began to sell land. He began to sell the land of this uh, P1 company. Before they knew it, he, he was making millions, I mean millions. Pastor, Pastor, uh, Pastor Peter is online. He was, uh, he was in that wedding. I was the MC witness He's online. He came, I came to Lagos for the wedding of the brother. And that brother now, the two cars is using the Jeep and the Corolla. He did not pay one night. He did not buy he did not pay one naira for it. It was a gift. So, just in less than many years, 2022, April, and now, somebody is already made by God. His own is that it was made by God. Everything God told him, he was seeing them. Uh, they, they, he was telling me himself. And so, it is important we are so set. There are cases that. Do you know why some people struggle about some issue? They have no heart from God to know exactly what to do. To know exactly. I told my congregation today, there are issues that prayer will not solve. Only obedience will solve it. There are issues that prayer will not solve. Only honor. Honor will solve it. We want to pray. Our antenna will be sharp. Our Amen. antenna will be sharp. Our antenna will pick signal quickly. We will not be done. Our ears will not be done. Our eyes will not be done. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, I pray. Oh God, I ask of you. Oh God, I pray to you. Lord, please oh, hear from me. Pastor Shabu, please. In the name of Jesus. Mighty Father, I pray. Our spiritual Amen. antenna will not be broken. In the name praying. of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, thank the Lord for how God has been helping us. And I want to appreciate God for every one of us online prayer meeting tonight. Honestly speaking, there is a lot of improvement. I, I can see there's a lot of improvement in terms of attendance. I want to thank God for all of us. And I pray that God is hold us even to the very end in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want to continue in that line of prayer. I thank our pastor that has just led us uh, a lot of things. I want to thank you when you came up at the early, uh, early part of this uh, prayer meeting tonight. He said he was a PTC. And Gio was 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 protected. But eventually why was it done? He was praying with the state of the church at that time. Now he said we should look back. This is 2024. Subtract 2001 from 2024, that is approximately now, or barely 23, 23 years ago now. Now, as at that time, look at the state of the church when the man of God was weeping and crying on the pulpit. And compared to what the church has been now, or what is the state of the church now? Now, I want you to ask yourself this question, that can we say, that if the trumpet of the Lord will sound now, now, 
as we are holding this prayer meeting, as we are praying now, are we really in the state of readiness for the rapture? Yes, mm. I know you are the pulpit. Yes, I know you are praying. You pray for others. Yes, I know you go out for evangelism. Yes, mm. I know you are doing one thing or the other. But mm. let us look back into our own life. I is our closet. I is mm. our relationship with the Almighty God at this time. Are we still the real people that we used to claim to be in the days gone by? when we serve God with all our heart, when we keep holiness, when we are so holy, we are so pure within and without, we are not careless in our talking, we are not careless in our relationship with opposite sex, we are not careless at all in anything, even in our workplaces, they know us as people that are holy, people that are righteous, that are pure. Do we still have that real, genuine, you know, this, uh, the, what, what we proclaim to God, what we profess to be? We want to look into our life again. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall dwell in his holy place? That was the heart desire of David. He was so eager. He was so curious. He wanted to know who is that person that is qualified to get to this glorious heaven. And you know this heaven we are talking about? They cannot accommodate not even an atom of sin. Not even an atom of lust. Lust of the eyes. Lust of the flesh. Losting after women, losting after ladies in our congregation, losting after the youth in the youth fellowship, losting after one thing or the other. He cannot accommodate. We want to pray tonight, brethren. I want you to look at your life and say, God, I come to you tonight. Maybe your own case is not even lost. Maybe your own case is bitterness. Even as you are praying now, perhaps you are praying with bitterness in your heart. Perhaps you are praying with unforgiven spirit in your mind. We want to pray and say, God of heaven, here am I. Lord, every contrary kingdom that has dominated my heart, aside the kingdom of righteousness, kingdom of God, Lord, let the power that is in the blood of Jesus, let it begin to wipe everything off. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray now. Please open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. This is a very serious moment. We need to rededicate our lives up unto the Lord. Open your mouth and pray to God. Brethren, I want to hear us praying. Many of uh -huh. us, we need to mute ourselves uh -huh. and really pray. We have done short time before I hand over. Yet we need to pray to God and say, God, Lord, who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? Who shall dwell in his holy place? He that has clean hands. Clean hands. Our hands are touching something that are evil now. Our hands are touching something that are defiling now. Many things are coming gradually into our, into our lives, even on the internet, social media. We go to all, all those dangerous sites now, looking at this and looking at that, that, are, that will not even profit us ever. We want to pray to God and say, God, here am I. Jesus, here am I. I submit myself. I come to the oh, foot of the cross. I, I, I bring myself to the, the foot power. of the cross. Let the, of the cross begin to Wash walk in our Let the cross begin to walk in our soul. Let the power begin to walk in our soul. Let the power begin to walk in To live a purified life. Every property of sin. Every property of demons and evil spirits. That is clean of all dirtiness. Let out of us. All few demons. With the little foxes that is not much, Jesus. With that little foxes, boy, from the full of tune of mercy, a little fox of the full of tune of mercy. Complaining for your power, I pray for your might upon my life, upon my brothers. Oh Lord, I never want to pray. I bring my people before you. I see what you make. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I sent a particular clip of message to some of our leaders on this platform. Actually, that message was preached some years back by Brother Billy Akoni. Many of us will know him very well. By the special grace of God, that man is an uncompromising man of God. I mean, he's a man that really stands for holiness. 
He's a man that I know very well. I've sat under his teaching at the time when I was in school in the 90s. Mm. And I knew I have benefited quite a lot. I've listened attentively to many of his messages. And exactly. that man is a real man of God to the core. But I send that mm. clip. If you listen to that, what that man was saying, he said, you may go to the pulpit and preach. That's not the matter. If, if somebody can even be in a state of backsliding, and yet when you climb to the pulpit, people begin to, you know, get converted, there will be a revival. Yet the person that is preaching is in a state of backsliding. He said, mm. what matter is our closet, is our inner, is our inner chamber, is our relationship with God. That's why my emphasis tonight is how is my relationship with God? How is your relationship with God? Do you see, is God still working with you? Or we are like Eli, that we don't have open vision any longer. We no longer receive from God. God forbid that God will, will, will bypass us, and then it will begin to speak to Samuel. And then we abandon the old Eli. We want to pray to God. Lord, help me. Lord, help me once again. Let me find grace in your eyes, just like Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Even as we, as I hand over to our, our leader, open your mouth and pray now. Call upon the name of the Lord, brethren. We want Father, to pray. Heaven, come before your throne of mercy, Lord. The things of this Father, world will not, not take the man away from our life. The things of this world look at names. will not take away right from out of our lives. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let's call upon the Lord tonight. Let's ask God and say, God of heaven, oh Lord, I need your help. Lord, I need your help, oh God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. I want to sing this song. I don't know how many of us know this song. If you know it, you can just sing it along with me. Walk with me. I cannot walk alone. Jesus, come walk with me. I cannot walk alone. The road is rough, and there are many dangers. Come walk with me. I cannot walk alone. Jesus, come walk with me. I cannot walk alone. Daddy, come walk with me. I cannot walk alone. The road is rough, and there are many dangers. Come walk with me. I cannot walk alone. Oh, yeah. Come walk with me. I cannot walk alone. Come walk with me. I cannot walk alone. The road is rough, and there oh, are yeah. uh, Not before you, Lord, I pray. But I walk with me, O oh Lord. Lord. Oh Lord. Can we walk with me, O oh Lord? Lord. 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 This road is very narrow. Help, O oh God, there this are many. Lord. Lord. This so road has many contours. But Father, I cannot. God, oh Lord, gracious presence, oh God, in this narrow way, in this journey, in this way to heaven, oh God, Lord, help me, walk with me, oh God, walk with me, help me, oh God, help me by grace to walk with you, oh God, to the very end. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Let's ask God and say, God, Jesse, will not pull us down. The Lilas will not succeed in our life. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. A gracious God, we thank you tonight. Thank you so much for all that you have done for us, oh God. Thank you, thank Father. You for us, preparing us once again for this glorious heaven. Amen. Father, we are praying, oh God, that in any way, any one of us has missed it in the time past. Lord, we come to you, God, at this time. And we are praying, oh God, that Lord, let the blood of Jesus 
the blood of the everlasting covenant. Let it cleanse and punch our life and, you know, cleanse us and make us whiter than stone and prepare us for this glorious heaven, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we are praying once again, oh God, that we hold our hand to the very end. Amen. All the on the way, all the challenges confronting us, everything that the enemy is trying to do to pull us down. Lord, give us grace, oh God, to, to say no to all the offer from the pit of hell in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father, because we know you are fighting. Thank you, Lord. Your name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Over to Pastor. Chapter 85, verse 6 to 7. And the Bible says, Will you not revive us again, that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your mercy, Lord, and grant us your salvation. We call upon the name of the Lord. The salvation we are talking about, the reconciliation we are talking about, with this revival we are talking about, I want to call upon your name. Let it start from my family in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It was in the olden day we see the most political person in the world was in the from the family of Almighty God. When we are talking about Joseph, these people they know about the administra administration and they able to direct the whole situation in the world. It was in the early days we see people like the richest person in the world is from the, the family of God. We are talking about, about Abraham. And to up to today, we see people still singing, let the Abraham blessing be mine. Father, when we the revival start for our own generation, and that when you are starting, when is when you want to start it, oh Lord, when you are starting it to do, let it start from my family, let it start from my wife, let it start my for my husband, let it start from my children. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord, Father. Will you not by force again? Let the Abraham, Abraham of this generation, let it come from my family. Let the Joseph of this generation, let it come from my family. It is in the, in the olden day we see the most educated person in the world come from the family of God. When we are talking about that name, where is in that name of now a day? Where are the Joseph of now a day? Where are the Abraham of now a day? What we are seeing is the people of the other side. They occupy things and we set everything to upside down. Where are the, 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 the prophets of that, 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 the, of that old generation that the politicians will see them and they will be shaken, they will be fearful. Where is Elijah of old day? We are call them. Nah, pray, they. Oh call upon the name of the Lord. Father, call upon the name of the Lord. Father, the Father I surrender myself. Give Use me, me oh Lord. Turn me to the Abraham of the old day. day. Turn me to the Joseph of the old day. day. Turn me to the Daniel you, oh Lord. of old day. Turn my family to the Jesus. family of Jacob of old day. day. Call upon the name of the Lord. We are the blessing of the Lord Father, is followed there. Father, I pray by the power in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. If you don't use me, who else are you going to do? If you don't use my family, who else are you going to do? If I do not surrender myself, who else are you going to surrender Oh Father Almighty, Father, I call Let upon your name. Family. I call by the power in thy blood. Father, I you. pray by the power in the Let blood of Jesus. So Christ, will you not revive us again? Let the revival start from my family. Let the revival start from me. Let the revival start from my generation. Let the revival start from my from my wife. Let the revival start from my son. My my dear brother, are you not going to pray? My dear brother, are you not going to pray? My dear brother, are you not going to why are you afraid? Why are you underestimate yourself? That that revival cannot stand for me. Are there no woman being? Those people who God is still using up tonight, are they no woman being? Who makes you different? You, do you have any secret sin? Do you have any awful sin? Do you have anything that is causing an hindrance? That do not allow the flowing of the Holy Spirit. That do not allow the conversation within you and God to be smooth. Lord. That do not allow you to be very angry from Almighty God. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. 
call upon the name of the Lord, King of King, Lord, 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 let the fire come from me. By the power and the blood of Jesus, let the fire come from my family. It is when you are called up for the fire from you, and you look at the body, then you will know that God is in your place. Because if God does not use you to solve the problem of the world, how can he enlarge your course? The, the higher the body, the higher the task, the higher the promotion, the higher the, the, higher the knowledge, the higher the, the wisdom, the higher the understanding, call upon the name of the Lord. Here I am, I surrender myself. Here I am, I surrender myself. Here I am, I surrender my family. Here I am, I surrender my children. Here I am, I surrender my husband. Yeah, I am. I surrender my wife. Let the revival start for me in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the revival start for me in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the revival start for me in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the revival start for me in the name of Jesus Christ. My dear brother is not too late. My dear, my dear, my dear father is not too late. My colleague in this journey is not too late. Yes, we are in the journey together. He is not too late. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. If you can call him, if, if Moses can start at the age of 80 years old, and then you call Jeremiah, you call Josiah at the age of, the of, age of 80 years. Then what is, what is my complaint? What is my own analysis? What is my own, what is my own analysis? The father will take this age of eight and eighty, oh and we take it. What is it? What is the reason that you cannot use me? Call upon the name of the Lord. 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 Here I am, Father, use me, O Lord. Here I am, Father, use me, O Lord. Here I am, Father, use me, O Lord. Use me, use me, my family. Use me, use everything you belong to me. Use me, use my. Use my property. Use me, use my dog. Use me, use my life. Use me, use everything that concerning concerning me in the name of Jesus Christ. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Have you seen anybody God is using that is lack? Have you seen anybody that God is using that is is lack? Look at the most, most, most of our leader online. Look at the brother that led the program. Every time he comes online, he say, I'm very busy. And I that's why that you will see say, I, I, I let this you, I let this program, I let this. But look at the testimony that, that has been coming. Look at the testimony that, that has been coming for me. It's special upon the tree, upon the tree. Why? Because he surrendered all that to himself with the Lord. We have a brother everyone. online as God told me that the, the, you know what? The 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 highest you are following the, with me, the highest you are seeing. If you decided to follow me with at to any level, I will promote you to every level. And I can tell you when you are talking about that brother that's not he does not have. Just thank God for the humility in the deeper life. Call upon the name of the Lord. Oh, mighty Father, here I am. Here I am. Do not use any other person. Use me, oh Lord. In my community, in my environment, in my local church, in my, in, 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 in my local district. Oh, mighty Father, stand for me in the name of Jesus Christ. This revival we are talking about. This revival we are we are we are speaking about. This revival we are shouting about. This revival we are requesting about. This revival we are laying down for. This revival we are talking about every day. This revival we are we are yearning to see. I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Let this start for me in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this start for me in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me Abraham on my own district. Let me Abraham on my own local all local town. Let me Abraham of the all my 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 my